Hey everyone, in this video we are going to duplicate our eyeball, the Spongebob eye that we turned into a component in the last video, and we're going to move it 150 millimeters, uh, so we have two of them, um, and I'm just going to quickly just show what components kind of do here. So when we have components in the model, like this one right here, if I select it, it grabs the whole thing. All the surfaces work as one. Uh, this backward brick here of SpongeBob is not a component. So if I select the surface, it doesn't select every surface when I click on it. So the nice part about components are um, you can copy them, they, you can change things in that one and it will change all of them. Um, it works as one piece even when you have many in your actual file. So um, what we're going to do here right away is to get started is I'm going to go and I'm going to go to the top view just because uh, it's just going to be easier to move this straight over. Um, what I want to do from here is I want to go and use my move tool to grab my middle of the eyeball. So if I once again hover over the edge, it turns the eye center on as far as if you have circles that way. So over the circumference of it, the outside of the circle, you get this to turn on as far as the middle. And then I select that. I'm going to move directly to the right. And all I'm going to do is type 150 and then hit enter, all right? The part that I forgot to do there was hit the control key, all right? So I'm gonna go edit undo, just modeling mistakes. And when I click on my piece to move here, the one thing that I forgot to do was hit control and now I got that going on. Um, I'm just gonna try to go straight over as far as when I can see it. And then I wanna type in 150 again. And this time I should be successful. All right. Uh, one of the things we want to pay attention to there, if, it, if it's going away, you want to backtrack so it's staying on the, on the top surface because it might actually plant it in the back. Once again, if it makes a mistake, edit undo. But now we have two eyeballs. All right. Later on, we will color these just to show you what we've made. Uh, going to the ISO view kind of shows our depth um, so it doesn't look so boring from the 2D view uh, or the orthographic view. Uh, we can see all of our surfaces here. So that's how you duplicate a component and move it to the location that you want it to move to. Now, the next thing that we're going to get ready to do is we're just going to get set up to uh, put the nose in. So we're going to quickly reference our blueprint here. Uh, the nose is 179 millimeters down from the top, and it's in the center of our piece. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our tape measure tool. Once I get back here to sketch up, go to your top view whenever we're working straight down here. And I'm going to go tape measure from the top going down. Remember. Carefully click with the end of the tape measure. That way you get the, the line instead of the, uh, what do you call it, the, the arrow that follows you. Um, and we're going 179, 179, enter, down. And how we do the middle, if we have the midpoints of our, uh, I guess, forms or um, squares or, I guess, shapes, um, we want to select the edge with the tape measure and then just slide down the middle of SpongeBob until you find the blue. There's a little blue piece, that'll, that's the midpoint. See it snap there? All right, kind of snaps to that, and I can just drop it right on there. All right, now this intersection here and here is where, uh, this intersection from these two lines is where we are gonna put our SpongeBob. All right, uh, we're gonna start the video making the nose and starting to lay out the mouth in the next video, or the next piece, the next video you get to watch. Hope it all works. Hey, have a good day. Remember to edit, undo, and try again if you make a mistake.